Um, I, I'd first like to say my deep thank you to the family of Luis Gongora, the family of Alex Nieto, the family of all people who have been murdered by the police, who are here, who are speaking up about what happened. You are saving lives. Quiero, quiero decir gracias a, a la familia de Luis Góngora, la familia de Alex Nieto y todos los familiares de personas que han perdido, personas que fueron balazados por la policía, está salvando vidas. We are here for a very simple thing. We are here to ask for equal justice and accountability. At the, people, at, at the Public Defender's Office, we see people of color and poor people held to be answered on crimes based on allegations. And when someone loses their life, charges are filed within days. But when the victim is homeless or poor or a person of color and the perpetrator is a police officer, things change. Investigations take years. Police officers are given access to counsel immediately after the incident. A defense is set up, and the people who are investigating the crimes are from the exact same organizations that have perpetrated the crimes. We are simply asking that police are held accountable to the exact same standards that the general public is being held to in incidents of officer-involved shootings. And we know that the only solution to this problem is to ensure that invest investigations are independent, are severed from the criminal investigative bodies that work on a day-to-day -day basis with the police to ensure a truly in independent investigation. But more importantly, Luis is not only a casualty of racist policing, he is also a casualty of brutal inequality. Luis came to this country. Luis was a humble man. He escaped poverty in Mexico. He came at the age of 20. He started working in our restaurants for years. He, he, had a, he was living on poverty wages, but he was able to send remittances to his home despite the poverty wages. He is one of 50,000 indigenous Mayans people that are here in Northern California. He was undocumented and he was trapped he was trapped because he had no legal status. He was trapped in poverty because he couldn't afford rent. Um, and he was trapped because of his education background. And because he was trapped, he ended up where he is today. If we cannot understand the connection between immigration and police accountability, and worker inequality. We are not going to be able to move this movement forward. But thankfully, thanks to the actions today of so many of you, we are winning material results at City Hall. And we are going to slowly but surely change the way police is happening here in the United States. So thank you.